Hey guys, Tony here, and I'm excited to share with you an incredible home theatre room, which is at my good friend Mick's brand new showroom here in Sydney's Northern Beaches. This room is the Hero Room and has a set of Crix MX40s, which are the flagship speaker in the MX range from Crix, paired with a Trinoff processor and other high-end AV gear. Mick was kind enough to invite me over to experience the room for myself, and I will let you all know what I think at the end of the video. There's also some bloopers at the end, so stick around for that as well. Plus, Mick will reveal how much a room like this would set you back. So if you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome and glad to have you aboard. And if you like what you see in the video, why not consider subscribing to the channel as I make regular content all about home theatre, audio and video, product reviews, and of course, room tours like the one you're about to see right now. Anyway, guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the video. You can't create an experience centre without having a hero room that will give someone a totally amazing experience. And as far as I'm concerned, what this room represents to me is how far you can take electronics in a domestic sense and have a totally immersive home cinema experience beyond what you're likely to get at the cinema. The dimensions of the room are 4.4 metres wide, 6.3 metres long, and we're about 2.5 metres high at the front and um, just over 2.4 at the back. The ultimate challenges was the construction. So we decided to build the room at a time when there was a big shortage in materials uh, and therefore we went away from using timber frame which we were going to use and um, it kind of hit me that uh, what we should really do is build this room the same way you would build the room. And many homes that we walk into these days are using metal fairing supports rather than timber studs. So, um, that in itself poses problems. It, 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 it is a very big challenge because uh, the reverberation and the wobble you get unless you can create a fairly solid structure is going to be an issue when you ultimately run some audio through these rooms and we're running some pretty serious audio for these rooms. So controlling ourselves, not going over the top in making this room so unattainable to the average person that you know we'd be lying when we said it's an average room. Um, so this is an average room and that in itself is a massive challenge. The star ceilings, well, you know, the star ceilings are a funny thing. I'm, I'm not a personal fan of stars. I find that ultimately stars can be distracting, but that's because I normally am testing a room in a house or a room that we build with stars. Living with the stars, it's actually changed my perception of, of what they do. It's almost an event. You've walked somewhere quite special and the decor that you use really enhances that, that feeling of it being a special place. The chairs that we're using in this particular room, and we do quite a few different brands of chairs, these are new for us. Uh, the range is from Cogworks, they're the studio brand chair. Um, essentially, we've gone with these chairs specifically to get more chairs in a row. So these are quite a, a narrow chair, but still very, very comfortable. I, I think that um, you know we've had people sit on the chairs and they've all commented about how comfortable they actually are. But the reason we've selected these chairs is I wanted to get five seats in this row. And because we're going to have a bar behind us, I wanted to be able to walk um, around the chairs and, and other chairs that we looked at that were a bit wider really restricted us being able to put five total seats. So we've gone with a center seat, uh, which is our hero position. We've got a, a real focus point in this particular room, but a center seat with two arms. And then we've gone with two love seats, um, more so so that we can get five people sitting here quite comfortably. Okay, so the, the lighting is important. We wanted to keep the mood quite controlled in this particular space. So you know, there's got to be enough luminance in the room so that you can sit down and talk to someone, but you've got the ability to feel like it's a nice, cool place to sort of sit. Sure. So the room, the room is, is treated for acoustics, and that's really important for sound. We're using the Sparta panels from Art Novian as front reflection, um, side reflection for um, seating position, and we're using diffusion panels, the Atlantis Flow, um, to scatter some sound in front of the two absorption panels. We've also got Atlantis Flow behind us, which again creates a bit of a scatter effect, um, and diffusion is almost as important as absorbing, and in most cases, um, it's the diffusion that actually helps the clarity of sound quite, uh, quite significantly. We're using curtains in the back of the room as well. And behind those curtains, we've actually got some acoustic pinboard um, just to add a bit more absorption. And that's really because we've got 
glass behind those and we wanted to make sure that we were absorbing enough frequency so that we didn't cause a problem with the glass and the star ceiling is also an acoustic layer um, all of these layers really go into helping the room you know, have defined clarity and elevated volume levels without it being uncomfortably loud processing to me is incredibly important it's just i can't underestimate how important good processing in a cinema with the amount of channels that we've got um, really is so we're using the the trinov altitude 32 slash 24 so that's essentially um, a 32 channel processor with 24 active channels and it's expandable up to 32 channels we're using the electra amplifiers uh, as our driving force for the speakers we're running um, uh, one amp which is bi-amping all our front arrays and then we're using other amps to drive our, um, our floor level speakers and our overhead speakers so uh, uh, you know we use other brands as well so we will chop and change a fair bit but at the moment uh, our hero room consists electronically of the Trinov Altitude 32 slash 24, um, a whole bank of Electra um, uh, amplifiers which run 190 watts per channel. Uh, we're using the Panasonic uh, UB something 9000. <laughs> UB what? UB 9000. <laughs> UB 9000. Uh, we're using the Panasonic UB 9000 uh, as the, the media player. We've got Apple TV um, also with all the streaming services that are uh, involved. We do have a PlayStation 5 sitting in the back and we've got an Xbox. Xbox Series X. Series X an Xbox Series X, which will also go in the back for gaming, and we will have a media player as well in the room in, at a future date. We're also using the Yamaha px 8 as the subwoofer amplifiers. We've got two of them in the system, one for our front subs and one for our back subs. Crix MX40s, front wall, front speaker wall, MX40 array, three-way uh, LCRs with two 18-inch subwoofers. Just stunning speaker system. Uh, as I've always said, they're just too good to hide behind a screen. And luckily for us, we can raise a screen and look at them. We're using the Hyperphonics 45s as our front wide, our surround, and our surround back speakers. Everything has been designed and angled for a very selfish seating position. So you'll notice that there is a big focus as to where they're pointing. It is the seat. However, because of the speakers and because of the amazing dispersion channels uh, that they have, we actually have really good um, uh, sound positioning in all the chairs, uh, testament to the quality of, of the actual speakers themselves. For our overheads, we're using the Stratospherics um, front and middle height, and we're using the atmospheric A20 angle drivers uh, as our rear height uh, effect speakers. I just want to jump in here and mention that we also have two Crick Cyclonics 15s, which are a passive subwoofer and placed at the back of the room, really add to the tactile response in the seated position. I'll also mention that the speaker configuration for this room is 9.4.4, utilizing front wides to make nine bed channels. So the projector that we're using at the moment is a Sony 760ES that has been replaced by the 790ES. The reason we've kept this one is because we really couldn't afford to change it over at the moment. Uh, we actually are uh, planning for a Barco a boulder to come into here. Uh, that'll happen possibly in January or February of next year. So uh, this is the projector that we were using in our previous uh, demonstration room and we're just recycling it and repurposing it in this space. Um, that is, however, a fantastic projector that is fully upgradable. So really spec wise, it's as good as the, um, uh, the 790 is at the moment with the update that it's had. Projector screen that we're using is from Electra. It is 160 inch wide uh, with a 2.35 aspect ratio. And it's an acoustic transparent screen to allow our wonderful MX40s to fill the room with audio. This room makes me forget. It makes me forget where I actually am. Um, you know, we wanted to create an immersive experience and this really is an immersive experience. We have um, four subs in the, in, the, in the room. We've got the two uh, in, as part of the MX40 wall, the 18 inch subs, and we've got two more 15 inch subs that are sitting in the, in the back there and, and uh, the processing, uh, the sub management 
um, it, it, it's, it's total control. The low frequency just resonates through your body. It, it adds almost another dimension to the audio itself. So, you know, watching a movie here and, and watching a movie for me has always been about, you know, escapism and, and you know, with this room and this space, I, I guess what we can really demonstrate is how easy it is to forget what's happening outside those walls and how easy to f is, it is to forget you know, all the rubbish that's going on in the world at the moment. It, it just allows you to sit here, be totally involved in a movie, become part of that movie uh, and, and have an immersive experience the way cinematic experiences should actually be. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an exciting room, it's a very exciting sound um, and yet it's very relaxing. You can just sit here and just forget. Yeah, so I won't I won't talk about the the physical construction because there's too many variables in the physical construction. But a room like this, the sort of size, um, and when we take into consideration carpet, chairs, star ceiling, acoustic treatment, speaker systems, electronics, projection, you would be putting a room like this together for around one hundred and eighty thousand dollars as you see it today. Um, now, of course, as you change projection, as you change some of the products and some of the electronics, you know, you can have a room with this much excitement for as close to what your budget can be. But, you know, if you go with the level of processing we have in here uh, and the channel count that we have in here, I'd say that you'd be looking at a 160 to 180 price range. And would you say that's mostly because of the processing, the tree knob and the MX40s? It's everything. Uh, we've got, you know, uh, $7,000 worth of acoustic treatment. We've got a, you know, $7,000 star ceiling. You've got, you know, $6,500 worth of carpet. You've got $11,000 worth of lounging. Everything adds up in this sort of a room. Yes, the processing uh, and the Trinov processor 32, we're talking about a $45,000 processor. It's going to add a big chunk of money into a room like this. And again, you know, we, we didn't have to go uh, through to a um, altitude 32. We could have done this room with the channel count with an altitude 16. So, uh, you know, the, 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 the important thing is about understanding, you know, what you want from that room and what you might want from that room. To me, when you think ahead, and plan for the future, you buy the right sort of product. So, you know, if I'd gone with the Attitude 16, I know that for the changes that I'm gonna make in this room over the, you know, 10 years that I might be in this space, uh, I would ultimately have to replace that receiver. Whereas with the Attitude 32, I've got a processor that is upgradable that I can do more with as I change um, and, and, and manipulate the way this, this room actually works. So demoing this room, it was an incredible experience and really shows the potential of what you can achieve in a conventional room inside a house. As Mick said, it wasn't a perfect room to start with, but with the right electronics and equipment, speakers and decor, you can really create something pretty special. The standouts to me were of course the Crix MX40 speakers paired with the Hyperphonics 45s and the two additional Cyclonics 15s. The sound bubble from this room from any position is incredible. As Mick says, this room is pretty much as high end in terms of electronics and gear for a home theater as you can get. While it is possible to go even more expensive, this room is achievable and also you can scale it down using the electronics and the speakers and the AV to get something within your budget but for no less of a great experience. If you enjoy the video smash the like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel so that you can see more content like this if you'd like to support the work i do here on youtube i have a merch store the links are down in the description as well as you can click the join button as well i will have more videos on the new showroom so keep an eye out for those videos and i'd like to thank mick for inviting me up to experience the new hero room for myself you can check out mick and sydney hi-fi manavel the links are down in the description below again a very big thank you for watching but that's it for this one you'll catch me in the next one Bye for now. I start again. The dimensions of the room. Okay, the dimensions of the room are 4.4. The dimensions of the room, sorry. Yeah. The dimensions of the room. Yeah. Can I do one question at you, a time? You, well, that's what I mean. Tell us about the room. So, so I've already forgotten of... about. So, okay, I've already forgotten the questions. Tell us about the room. <laughs> okay. So, what's the purpose? Purpose of, of the room. Purpose yeah. of the room. Yeah.